Hello everyone, welcome back to another lesson. And in this one I'm going to show you guys a few ways we can monitor for uh, license usage. So the first method to do that is to go to the admin tab and click on system and license management. And you can display here either systems or licenses. So make sure you are uh, displaying license. And then you're going to go ahead and click on License Pool Management, which will show you this window. And from here, you're going to be able to see all of your uh, license allocations per uh, managed host. So in my deployment, I have my console and I have my EP1, my event processor one. And I can see that the EP1 is assigned a temporary amount of uh, 10,000 event per second, and my console is assigned a temporary amount of 5,000 uh, even, events per second. And I can go ahead and change my uh, allocated events per second to 1,000. And let's go ahead and change this to 500. And I can see that my unallocated EPS has changed based on the amount of license that I have available. So right now I'm using only 10% of my uh, temporary license capability and I have uh, 13.5 thousand uh, EPS left that I can assign freely. So this is important because if you're running a distributed deployment, you have to make sure that each uh, domain, each appliance uh, gets only the uh, most accurate amount of license that he needs. Um, so in order not to have wasted license, right? Because if you have an under allocated appliance, it's going to uh, start shooting messages about uh, dropped events and that's gonna cause you to potentially lose data. So you want to make sure that all of your uh, different appliances and and domains here, uh, they have their uh, EPS allocated uh, as most accurately as you can. So in order to actually monitor uh, some of those uh, license usages, we can use some basic AQL uh, that I copied from IBM's website. So, for example, we can view uh, EPS for uh, rates per log source. Let's, let me go ahead and, and paste that in. And now we can see that for each log source I have, it's displaying the amount of EPS, right? So I have 24 EPS for my health metrics. I have six... 0.7 for my win collect, and I have 0 0.06 for my window endpoint. And we can also do that per domain instead of per log source, right? So my default domain, uh, 28 EPS. And of course, uh, all of the links, relevant links are going to be uh, in the resources uh, folder for this lecture. So make sure uh, to go ahead and check them out. Uh, and then you will be able to understand how to uh, manage licenses and how to use the AQL queries examples that I've shown you. And you can also modify them to your needs. You can save the search searches and create reports on them or even uh, alerts about them. And we're going to see uh, in later, later parts of the course some more advanced examples um, about such uh, use cases. Uh, so that has been it for this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.